www.islamicwaves.com I'm sure we cry. Today when you miss someone whom you are not even supposed to be connected to, start crying. We have a friend on Facebook, for example, and for three days she did not send us a message. We start crying. I wonder what's going on. Wallahi, have you seen her? No. Do you know her? Well, from Facebook. Is that exactly what she looks like? I hope so. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, it might be a man pretending to be a woman. Ask some of the young boys around. They'll tell you we've got 10 profiles on Facebook. Eight of them are as girls and two of them are as boys. Some people do this and they get a kick out of it. And yet we are on the other end, click, 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 crying. Why? Because you, just, you don't want to talk to me anymore. <laughs> We shed tears for someone of that nature. Have you shed tears for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Have you thought about your maker? You are going to return to him. Have you ever cried? Have you ever listened to his message and tear? Allahu Akbar. You go to a place like the Haram in Mecca. May Allah grant us return to that place many times. And you stand, your hairs raised. You think of Allah and you busy crying. Those tears are valuable. We call them the warm tears that roll down your cheeks. The tears of turning to Allah. When you repent to Allah, you ask Him for forgiveness. Truly, you end up crying. Tears come in your eyes. Ya Allah, forgive me, I am weak. Those tears are included in these. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness. I would like to end by saying, my brothers and sisters, every one of us will be looked at on the day of judgment. And the main highlight will be the presentation that you have put forth. Look at it. Think about it. What have you chosen as the highlight of your life? For indeed, it is now the time to prepare the parcel, to prepare the gift, your own little gift that you will be presenting. Ya Allah, I got this. And this is what I'm going to put forth. Allah knows it. Brothers and sisters, prepare today for tomorrow. That day, it's going to be too late, no matter where we are standing and what we have on that particular day. It is now that we will be preparing for it. So here we are sitting in the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, reminding one another to do good deeds, speaking about the shade of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on that particular day. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant it to us. And until we meet again, I'd like to say, we want to see one another in paradise. May Allah unite us in paradise, my brothers and sisters. May we love one another for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I tell you, for the love of Allah and for the sake of Allah, I too would declare my love for you, my brothers and sisters. What joins me with you? What brings us together? Can I tell you? Nothing besides the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the sake of Allah. You don't know me, nor do I perhaps know you on a personal note. Perhaps I know very few of you, very few of you, perhaps a handful. But the rest of us, we are part of one family. Don't forget that. We will get together on the day of judgment. Ya Allah, we love one another for the sake of Allah. And we heard that you said that if that is the case, we now qualify for VIP status here. Allahu Akbar. So Ya Allah, grant it to us. My brothers and sisters, I have weaknesses and so do you. Some people's weaknesses are apparent and some of them are hidden. May Allah make me non-judgmental and may He make me from amongst those who can help myself and help others to improve. And may he be from amongst those whom when he judges us, he judges us with mercy and leniency until that day. And until the day we meet again, inshallah, by the will of Allah, we say, wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabina Muhammad, subhanallahi wa bihamdihi, subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdik, nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta, nastaghfiruka wa natubu. www.islamicwaves.com